Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, Zodi C at the Farm. It's so wonderful to be here today with all of you. And uh, everything is going really well with my week and I uh, in tune hope that everything is going well with your week ahead. So actually today is Saturday, um, May the 23rd of 2020. And um, I'm gonna continue on uh, with um, the making of my glass. And so today I've actually got uh, a four piece that I'm going to be working on and these are the first three pieces. I've got this large uh, Mikasa plate that I will also uh, be including uh, in with the ensemble so we will have a, a very uh, beautiful piece when all of this is uh, completed. So I hope you'll stay with me because I'm going to give you all of my tips from A to Z on how to make these beautiful glass flowers. Okay, let's move on to the cutting portion of this uh, video. Hey guys, all right, I am over at my drill press. And I've got to lower this drill press. And let me pull this in this way. Okay. And I need to mark the center here. Okay, let me get my supplies out here. I've got my gloves. I've got my magic marker. I've got my water. Pass that through. Okay, so that way it supports it supports the um, entire piece of glass, specifically in the center, but it also keeps it balanced. Okay, so that's how I have that set up. And let me go ahead and measure this real quickly. Okay, so I've got my measuring here and that is three three inches there and that should be it all right let me get my other glove got my, my glasses on I wear glasses but you should use uh, safety goggles when working with the glass can okay, I take it right back under where it needs to go I'm going to be real careful with this glass um, just because it looks a little weak at the center. So I'm going to take my time and here we go. Alright, so the other two pieces of glass that I have uh, as part of this ensemble have already been cut in previous episodes. Alright, so let's move on to assembly now. Hey folks, okay, welcome back. Uh, we just finished uh, actually cutting through this uh, beautiful uh, glass vase that I'm going to be using for my glass ensemble. So I got this from a uh, lady that lives here in my area and she uh, was excited to see that I was going to be using it uh, to make a beautiful flower and I'm, I'm sure she's going to be excited if she sees this that I actually have used this. So let me just go ahead and quickly clean this off. I put a beautiful bowl right there in the center. I actually like this bowl simply because it's 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 a good weight and it's very colorful. And it, it's I don't think it's really ever been used at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to 
assemble this, but before we go to assembly, we need to uh, talk about the items that you're gonna need to complete this project. Okay, so let's move on to that. Hey folks, welcome back. Let's go over a quick list of items that you're going to need to complete this project. So the first and foremost are gonna be gloves, protective eyewear, preferably goggles. Um, you're gonna need a towel to clean off your dishes. You're gonna need a hook. You're gonna need a, uh, this is a toggle bolt, a toggle and its bolt. And I've got these uh, glass uh, tipped uh, drill bits that I'm gonna be using with my uh, drill press. But if you don't have a drill press, you can use a standard, um, you know, cordless drill, if you will. You're gonna need all of your plates already ready to go, cleaned, and 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 have the, um, the, the drilling done. So everything's gonna be needed to be completely done prior to assembly. Okay, so I think that's everything. If I've forgotten anything, as usual, it'll be listed in the description box below. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my gloves, and then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this camera down so that you can see how to assemble these beautiful flowers. I do hope you guys are having a great week. I'm having a pretty good week, pretty good. No, no, no major complaints. Um, I will include one uh, drilling portion in the video, okay, but uh, you'll have to go back to previous episodes for some of these other um, plates that have been, been, been done in previous episodes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Goo Gone and my large plate, and I'm gonna give this a good cleaning, okay? Bring this down. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this really, really good. Push that back a little bit so you can see. Okay, so that is nicely uh, cleaned off. Make sure there's no extra residue. You want it to shine. All right, so there we go with that. So uh, the other thing that I failed to remember on the items you're gonna need are your washers. Okay, that's really important that you have washers readily available. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take a washer, I'm sorry, take my, um, my flower, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick my um, bolt through that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my washer through just like that, okay? And I'm going to carefully turn this over and I'm going to stick that flower right in the center of this very large um, macasa. Okay, then I'm gonna turn it back over and I'm going to put another washer here to protect the plate. And I'm going to then take my next uh, flower petal piece, which is also a macasa, and I'm gonna place that right there just like that. Then I'm going to take another washer. I should have pulled these out earlier. I'm going to put that right there on top of that glass. And then I'm going to take my next uh, beautiful candy swirl um, vase slash flower petal. That's what I'm using it for. I actually got it from a lady here in my area. And uh, if she's watching this, she will see what I'm using it for. So I think that's kind of neat is using your local glass. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stick that right there in the center, just like that, and I'm gonna put another another washer in, okay? And then start this toggle. Okay, and I've got the toggle already now um, started. Okay, just like that, I'm gonna use a smaller one. Okay, then I'm, okay, we gotta get it where that toggle is straight in the middle, just like that. So I'm gonna turn this carefully over, completely like that, so where it sits flush. And then I'm just going to carefully use my Phillips head and tighten this, these beautiful pieces down. Okay, that seems to be okay. Okay, let's take a look at this. All right, so 
so this is uh, this is quite a piece simply because of the depth of it. It's, it's this beautiful Mikasa right here in the back. And then I've got this other uh, pink, a uh, light pink floral Mikasa. And then I've got this um, area made glass uh, here in the area that I live in. And uh, let me turn it over. So on the back, you see I've got my flower there. And um, this particular hook is, is definitely required for this because this is a rather heavy piece. I love the depth of it. I do love the depth and I do love dimensionality of this piece. Okay, so let's go on to showing this on the stand inside and outside. Okay, folks, so here's the stand that I'm going to be using today to try and pl place this one on. This is a rather large uh, flower, so it may not sit appropriately on this stand, um, but I do have one downstairs that uh, will fit this, but I think it's holding pretty well. Okay, so here it is from the back. There it is from the side. I think it looks lovely. And there it looks right at the center. And I think it just looks amazing. There's a little depth there. And definitely some volume, definitely some dimensionality to this piece. So I think it came out really, really pretty. Okay, very colorful. All right, so let me show you what this looks like now um, on the exterior pole. So I'm gonna take my normal stick that I use to show you guys. And there it is, right here on the stand. So it sits really nicely on this stand as well. I mean, the, the hook fits nicely inside, snug as a bug in a rug in that uh, chair cover that I use. And I think it just has amazing depth to it. Dimensionality, as I said, I think it's colorful. And uh, it's just expansive. It's an expansive flower as well. So I, I hope uh, that you have enjoyed this particular episode. And if you have, uh, please hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button, just so that I know that you're enjoying the content. And please leave some comments every once in a while. I would love to hear your thoughts either way on, on how, uh, what your thoughts are on these uh, glass flowers that I make. Okay, so I hope you have a wonderful week, and I certainly hope to see you uh, next week here at Zodice at the Farm. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, again, you can reach me at Zodice at the Farm at gmail.com. You can find these particular uh, pieces of glass for sale on uh, Etsy.com under uh, the Zodice Glass Shop slash Robin Clayton. And you can also find them on my website at zodiceatthefarm.com. So again, many blessings uh, sent your way, and I hope to see you next week here at Zodice at the Farm. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.